few days ago, literally most of the internet went down for about 6 hours. And to be honest, it kinda sucks. The reason is Cloudflare outage. And as a chain reaction, half of the internet went down as well. Question is, why? Can a website exist without services like Cloudflare? And how exactly one line of Rust code took down the internet? Let's figure out. Ok, and first things first. What is a Cloudflare? I want you to look at my goofy drone here. Cloudflare is a reverse proxy. To put it simple, it acts like a face control in nightclubs. So when you open a website, you make a request to Cloudflare and not to the actual server of the website you want to access. And then Cloudflare makes a bunch of checks, like, hey, are you a bot? Should we block you or pass your request through? I mean, one of my websites is also connected to Cloudflare, and trust me, it has tons of filters and settings. And then, after, if you pass all those checks, Cloudflare itself makes a request to the actual server of the website, and then forwards the content back to you. And as you can see, in this mechanism everything is being passed through Cloudflare. Literally every byte of traffic is served this way. And the main reason is to protect the website from DDoS. Because apparently Cloudflare is one of the very few providers with low-cost L7 protection. Here is a real-life example so you can understand it better. Let's say you own a bakery and you have a website where your customers can order freshly baked croissants. Things go quite well and you get tons of orders from it. But one day, say your competitors decided to mess your business and ordered a DDoS attack on your website. Suddenly, it started to receive thousands and tens of thousands of requests. Thus, almost immediately, your server goes down. As a result, real customers cannot visit your website and order their favorite croissants. The business suffers, sales drops, basically press F to pay respects to your business. But that's even not the worst part. Even if you purchase a best server configuration, it won't help you. Because today, anyone can purchase thousands of shady proxies on the market for less than a few dollars. And let me remind you that you can take down a budget server using just a couple thousands of those proxies. That's the math, that's how it works. By the way, now you should understand why half of the internet went down. It's because the middle part the Cloudflare went down. And as a result, even if an origin server was fine, and they was fine actually, it didn't matter at all, since all requests were going through Cloudflare. And now comes the second question. What's the reason behind Cloudflare outage? I mean, you're gonna laugh, but the whole outage is caused by one single line of code. A badly written line of code, of course. Here is the code, by the way. It's written in Rust. And as a Rust developer myself, I can immediately spot what's wrong here. Pay attention to that little sneaky rusty piece of code at the end. The unwrap method call, to be precise. That's the issue. Basically, you can call it an unhandled exception. It happened because apparently append with names method returns a result in num. In Rust, it is a replacement for null checks. And it can be either OK or ERR value. And as clearly described in the documentation, if you call unwrap method on it and if it contains ERR, the code will panic. Or in other words, the program will crash. I mean, of course, the use of unwrap is not the root of an error, rather it's just a kind of newbie way of writing Rust code that is not idiomatic. I could even argue that this code was written by a C++ developer and it has been rewritten one-to-one -one from C++ to Rust. Number of things makes me think this way. For example, look at how the function returns an empty tuple, or how the futures is passed by a mutable reference. And there is actually a whole GitHub repo dedicated to this topic, it's literally called Idiomatic Rust, and I highly recommend checking it out. Ideally, they could at least handle the error case, and the code could be something like this. Not calling unwrap, but handling the error instead, along with some proper fallback, of course. 
And that's the whole story. I wanted to share with you how it works and what's the reason of an outage. And also highlight this kind of funny case when literally a single line of code took down the half of the internet. Things like this happens not every day, thankfully. Share your thoughts in the comments, smash that like button and if you're interested in this kind of videos, subscribe to your channel as well. Have a good day! And hey, make sure to always handle exceptions in the code!